What's going on guys? Jay Freezy Reviews here <clears throat> and we are doing another unboxing video. I thought this would be a cool one to do. This is Robert's, uh, Robert's Good 12 Pod Hydroponic uh, Grow System. So real quick, I, I may break it down at the end of the video. I have a ton of different peppers from uh, Pepper Joe's, which I want to grow indoors. So growing outdoors has been a challenge uh, recently due to just extreme heat that we get uh, out here in the West. So. I'm gonna try to grow some with this hydroponic system. And real quick, it's a very cool one. The biggest thing, the extendable arm, but the cool thing about it, if you're gonna get one, and this was, I think, about 60 bucks, this tilts. Now, why that matters is because the other ones that are just fixed, that just stay uh, fixed, basically parallel to the uh, grow surface, Peppers need a lot of space, and that's a big thing for me. Um, if you try to grow any hot pepper, you try to grow anything else, you want to be able to almost stake them or put a uh, trellis up for them. So, having said that, the fact that this tilts, which will allow me to put uh, different stakes on there, and I have a bunch of bamboo stakes and another trellis system, I can basically keep these growing indoors, have them by a window, and by doing that, I can have additional light here, but then natural sunlight hitting them, which I don't always have to run this, I can just run the filtration system and then just have natural sunlight. So that is a cool little uh, aspect for these. Um, I recommend the tilting ones. So as we start going into it, also, a cool thing about this one, when I uh, was looking, uh, let's start getting some stuff out. These usually come pretty well uh, set up to begin with. Kind of can see how sturdy they are. But you're basically going to get your uh, hydroponic system guide. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. You can go through that it's going to show you, you get some plant food you get the pods to put them in you get your adapter it kind of gives you a little explanation of you know how to grow everything as well so if you're a first timer hey you know we all are we've all been there so it'll give you a little bit more information on how to grow what to grow and a lot of the people try to grow you know a number of different things like basil rosemary I've tried to grow basil, just didn't work out for me. Now, I got a lot of them sprouting up, I will say that much, but overall, it was just a bit of a struggle. So, grab that little piece off there. Can kind of go over a little bit of the build quality and see how this compares to some of the others. I don't want to... There we go. Oh yeah, that's cool. So, as I bring it back down, you can see it tilts, it tilts up and down. And what you're gonna get too, as I undo this, these plant A, plant B foods, you can use your own if you have a hydroponic setup. You get the adapter. Uh, looks like the pods are inside. We'll go ahead and pull those out real quick. So, kind of get a look at the inner workings of the actual system. So, these are what the pods are going to go in. Um, you're going to have a number of caps to put on top. That helps kind of give a little bit of a moist, human environment for your uh, peppers, whatever it may be, uh, lettuce, rosemary, little cherry tomatoes to help grow in. Um, that's what these uh, will help it grow. You're going to basically plant inside these little holes. And then once you put these in there, put them on top in the little pods and allow it to circulate and everything else. So this one looks like it's a four liter max and it's cool. 
these, I hope, I'm curious to see the setup for this particular build because I've had some better, some worse, but it's nice that it has a little filter. I don't know if you can see that, that it's actually filtering the water right there. Um, so a little aeration it looks like as well. So yeah, we bring this down and you can see all the LEDs that you have up here as well. So that's kind of cool. And then obviously because it tilts, you can tilt down, you can program. Um, there's a bunch of different instructions on the programming. So we'll have to take a look at that once we're done here. So, but yeah, overall it looks like a pretty cool setup and I can go over some of the seeds that I'm gonna put in real quick and see if we can get them to grow. I may put some uh, Christian in there, their uh, Thai pepper. We have some lemon habanero, habanero Caribbean red, peach habanero, Jay's peach ghost scorpion. We have some jigsaw, which I have tried to grow before, haven't had a whole lot of success. Spicy mustard habanero, habanero mayo, mine yellow, mine red habanero. Abonda ma jacques, which I believe that's a hotter pepper. It's a new seed they had in 2021 and some wicked ass little seven pots. So. Just a few different ones I'm gonna to try to grow. Like I said, there's 12 different uh, pods. The big thing is, like I said, once your stuff starts getting tall, I use these cool little bamboo, uh, they're little stakes basically, that I can kind of tie to um, the different plants and make a trellis. I have done it before with this particular setup, but I didn't have a much, much success because it's only so tall. That's gonna be your normal length, like, or height. For a regular one, you can extend it, like I said, but at the end of the day, a lot of these hot peppers, they like to grow really tall. So with these, you wanna give them some space. If you're gonna do something else like basil and rosemary, I'm curious to see, I hope you have success, but again, just let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to go over with this particular setup. Um, it comes with pretty much everything I need to uh, go forward. So without further ado, I hope everyone enjoyed the video and uh, yeah, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Cheers.